Hello everybody. Hello. Welcome back to another video. So these days it's all about what you can dip, smash, drag, pull, throw at the wall and see if it sticks kind of acrylic pouring. So I being the wacko that I am, I'm going to try something that I have not seen yet and most likely will fail, but I want to give it a shot because I like to try to do things that are different. So at first I was thinking maybe I'll do a acrylic pour and call it the Clyde Clash. I'll just take Clyde's tail and whip it through the paint. And then I was thinking, eh, Clyde probably wouldn't like that. So I came up with another idea. And this is where it gets really bonkers, guys. I am going to try to do an acrylic pour called a pasta pull. Yes, you heard and are seeing correct. I got some rigatoni ready to run through the paints. <laughs> so, wish me luck. I hope it works. We shall see. So what I have is a 12 by 24 canvas. I have a little plastic plant tray that I got at the Dollar Tree just to lay this out in and cover it in paint. And I got a box of rigatoni. <laughs> So I put a string through it and I tied it on both ends. Now one end is kind of sideways so I'm going to use this end to pull with and if that doesn't work we're going to scrape it all off and I'm going to try a Mardi Gras bead pull. Now I wish I could say I was cool and went to New Orleans and got all these beads, but I didn't. I was a good girl and just got them at Stop and Shop for $2.50. <laughs> That's that. But either way, we're going to do both of them. If this does work, I will pull out another canvas. If it doesn't work, we'll scrape it off and start from scratch. So, first thing I need to do is separate these two trays that I got. Oh, it's a three pack. What a bargain. Gotta love Dollar Tree. Although it looks like two to me. And they are so cheap that you can't even pull them apart. All right. I think I got it there. So my idea is going to be to lay this pasta nice in the bowl. And we're going to cover it in white paint. Now, this is going to be very simple. Black canvas, white paint for the pull. So, first thing I need to do is grab some gloves. And I have my paint all mixed up. No silicone in the paint whatsoever. And it is mixed with one part paint, one part glue all one part pouring medium and one part Floetrol. For the pouring medium, I am using Liquitex. By the way, I have to do a shout out really quick. I have to thank Miss Tina Marie Malinowski. She gave me this or made me this and sent it to me. Gorgeous dragon slash cat's eye bracelet. I absolutely adore it. I was telling her a story about how I was trying to make these with my son and I just couldn't get it right. And she just did such an awesome job. So thank you so much, Tina Marie Malinowski. She also sent me two really pretty shells that I have here that I'm going to be using in a pour, in an upcoming uh, ocean pour. I also want to thank Lisa Wyatt. Lisa also has a channel. She made a donation to mine this month. Thank you so much, Lisa. 
If you guys haven't checked out her channel, please check her out. And then also, I need to thank Karen for sending me some supplies. Thank you so, so very much, Karen. They are well appreciated and well needed. So let's get started here. I'm going to put some black paint down on the canvas and just spread it out. Now this has been sitting for a little bit, so I hope that it uh, doesn't have too much crap in it. And when I say a little bit, that's, you know, a month and a half, two months. So I'm just going to squirt it out here, get this thing covered. And I'm going to have some fun tonight. I'm going to paint with my hands. I'm not going to use a spreader or anything like that. Just want to make sure I have enough paint on there. Sometimes you just got to connect with the paint. Probably would have been better if I just opened this damn bottle. All right, so let me start here. I'm going to use one hand. So if I need to add more, I can. It just feels so nice to connect with it, you know. Just glide your hand through it. And I'm wearing latex gloves, so it's even extra slippery. And then you want to cover everything up. I'm hoping that my paint isn't too thin. It feels a little thin. But we shall see. And I just have a bucket under here that I'm, I am... Uh, pouring over. It's a bucket I got at Home Depot. It was 20 bucks. And then I got these two pieces of wood. They were a dollar a piece at Home Depot. And I'm just basically balancing the canvas on them. And then when it's time to move it, I will set it up on its cups at a different location. Just working it over the edges. I kept thinking about this whole idea saying, I just want to try something different. It looks so fun. I want to try the balloon dip or the balloon smash. I want to try the dip. Miriam, Miriam's Nature, another awesome channel. She did a double dip and it came out gorgeous. So. I just want to try it all. Not enough time in the day, though. All right. I think that should be good. I'm not used to doing uh, pours. I haven't done them in so long. Okay, let me just get this glove off. You know, I'm going to take my pretty bracelet off also. Because I don't want to get that dirty. All right. So I got a little bare spot. I'm sure that I have some bare spots on the other side that I can't see right now. But I'm not going to worry about those right now. Gonna add a little bit more. Who knows what's gonna happen? All right, so that's that part. So now I'm going to take my pasta, which I should have did this part first. Now that I think about it, because I have nowhere to put this down. I'm gonna take the pasta and my white paint and I'm just going to coat it actually I'm going to take this top off here hold on a second bear with me guys all right so oh Jesus it's always something. 
I'm going to stay away from that last piece there. I'm just going to cover it. If you guys can see that. I, as I dip my hand into the black paint. <laughs> yeah, it's all about having fun. I'm going to cover it. I'm going to move it around in there. Make sure it's well coated. My paint looks really, really thin. My other glove back on that I could tell this is gonna be one big mess but hey, it's all about having fun and learning that's what it's all about guys all right guess what it's coated so now I'm gonna lift it I'm actually going to hmm Put it down over here for a second. I'm just letting it drip off to the side before I come to the canvas with it. All right, here we go. I carefully Bring it down. Okay, make sure it's touching here. Of course it lifted on me. I have them pretty tight on the string, so maybe just loosening them a little bit would be a good thing but it's on there so give me one second to find a paper towel here this is gonna be funny I was thinking maybe the grooves in the pasta would <laughs> do something but God knows it's probably just gonna be a nightmare all right so here we go pasta pull experiment Not enough paint on the canvas. Hey, look at this, guys. <laughs> nice and slow. It's a little bit heavy. So it pushed the paint out of the way. It kind of made a groove. But it almost worked. That was kind of cool. Thinking maybe a lighter pasta. <laughs> Let's see here. Let's see if I could uh, get it to go back over a little bit. My paint was really thin too. You can see the canvas in a few spots there. But you know what? 
That definitely could work. Now this is where I wish I had a, a air gun right here. But I don't. So, mental note, thicker paint and lighter pasta. You can definitely, it almost looks like a splash. It doesn't have to be a flower. It could be an explosion. So let's see here. I'm going to take a little bit of the black and try to push it in a little bit. And then I could also use my palette knife. Let me just get, let's see right here, I like that side, so. Get a palette knife. And just kind of try to shape it a little bit. Not too bad. It's not too bad at all, guys. So now what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to use this, just this one canvas to experiment. And I'm going to get those beads. And uh, pull them through, like from the side here. Let's see what happens. These buckets, by the way, are really good because once the paint dries, it peels right out. So here's my paint again. Okay, I'm going to add, oh shit, sorry guys. I'm going to add a little bit more black where it needs it. Right here, just a little bit. Over here and then uh, maybe just a little bit extra right here I'm almost tempted to dip the beads in the black and pull it through this white but let me do it with the, the white first so here are my beads going to cover them. In the white. And I'm going to let them drip off over to the side here again. Just a little bit to get myself situated. These are a little bit too long. Let's see. come up that way all right so again nice and slow I'm 
trying to pull it into this other one. So this would be almost like a big chain, <clears throat> like a ball chain pull. And as you can see, it works really good with the Mardi Gras beads. Right, and I'm not going to re-dip those because I don't want to get a lot of black in my next flower. So what I'm going to do is get another bead out, another strand of beads. Before I do that, I need to really wipe my hands off. I'm going to um, not use such long of a strand, maybe cut it a little bit shorter. Oh, let's see here. And I'm just dipping it in the white paint over here again, moving it around. I swore I wasn't going to get my hands dirty today. And here I am. I'm just going to take them out. Next time I will be more prepared with the space and how it's set up. I kind of just jumped into this. And I come around this side. the wrong angle <laughs> wrong angle and I got that little twist in the center okay so here we go and I'm going to come down this way back into this flower Well, now, see is how I haven't done a pull of any type in a very, very long time. I don't think that's half bad. And you know something? I'm going to explore this pasta thing a little more in the next video with some different types. Um, as for the center here, how it's a little bare, what I'm probably going to do is get a fine nozzle, fine tip nozzle bottle, if I can find one here, and just put a little tiny bit of black paint, like one of these little bottles here, little tiny bit, no, this is not the right one though. I have one here. Better yet, a syringe. We'll use a syringe. So I have a syringe here. I'm going to put a little tiny bit of black paint into a cup. That was close. I'm sure Clyde is glad that this didn't work. That this worked, I mean, <laughs> somewhat worked. So I'm gonna take my syringe and suck up some of this black over to the side so I don't make a mess. And 
and then you know, drag it up the center. Just to add a little more in there. Just that much. And a little bit here for those spots the canvas um, was bare. And then what I will do is take a, uh, that wasn't me, I swear, take a, uh, God, a skewer and try to run that up the center. Here we go. I have these barbecue skewers that they're like for the Weber grill. They're way overpriced because they're bougie looking. So I'm just going to use that thicker end. Let's see. It straightens it out for me. So you got to kind of spread it a little bit. But then... Drag some of that up in there. All right, and I'm going to leave well enough alone. Got a couple of areas here, but I really like this. For what I just swipe, uh, pulled through it, I think it's not that bad. <laughs> Honestly, is it the best? No way. Is it the worst? No way. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Let me do a shout out right now. I want to shout out um, again. I said talked about Lisa Wyatt art. Check her out, and I want to shout out also uh, Lisa Simmons art. She has a nice little YouTube channel and needs some love. So go check her out. I will link it below. And let's see. I think that's it for today. Oh, no, I'm sorry. One more. Uh, Stephanie Gagos. She's had a YouTube channel, but she um, stepped filming for a little bit, but she's back again. So I just wanted to bring awareness to that. So please check her out. She is an amazing artist. They all are, and uh, they deserve to be seen. So girls, you've been shouted out. You've been tagged by the Paint It Forward campaign. Share the love and you know what to do. So if you guys have any questions, comments, leave them below. If you haven't already, would you please subscribe? Um, yeah, that's it. I will see you guys soon. Happy pouring.